Hi everybody, I'm Chef Gail Sokol and welcome to my kitchen and happy Mother's Day. I have an incredible recipe that's so easy and kid friendly. You are going to love it. It's an edible flower garden. So springy for moms and such a kid friendly uh, activity to do. So let's get started. We can make a garden or you can make a bouquet. You have a choice. So let's come on over. If you don't have an electric mixer, don't even worry about it. This is super easy to do. I have a stick of butter, which is eight tablespoons of unsalted butter in my electric mixer. I'm gonna add one quarter cup of brown sugar, dark brown sugar. Just gonna get that right in there. Okay, I'm just gonna move it around a little bit. And then I'm going to put my paddle attachment on. And you don't want to cream it. So this is really not the creaming method of mixing like you've seen me do on some of my other videos. And that's where you cream uh, softened butter with sugar. This is just mixing everything together until it's a little bit blended. And you can see, come on over. Come on over so you can see inside the bowl. You can just see it's all just blended. All right, and now we're ready to add our flour. One cup of all-purpose flour, and I'm just gonna add that in there. I'm gonna add it gradually, or it's gonna end up all over me, and you wanna do this on low speed. So I'm just gonna gradually add it, okay? And you don't have to add it spoonful by spoonful. Just get it all in there all in there, one cup. Very easy. Now, if it becomes a little dry, I will ask you to put in a teaspoon of water, just to give it a little bit of, uh, you can see it's a little crumbly, take a look in there. See how it's a little crumbly? So I have a teaspoon of water, boop, teaspoon of water. Already in. Believe it or not, that's our dough. So let's see what it feels like. And it looks very crumbly. Don't get upset about the crumbliness. It's actually going to be okay. So you're gonna clean off your paddle and we're gonna need the paddle later on for our frosting. You can always get store-bought frosting if you want. But I'm gonna just put this in the sink. And I'm gonna take my bowl and I'm gonna gather this with my hands. This is a great thing for kids to do. Now you can make this, moms can make this with their kids. A grandma can make this with her grandkids or dads can make this with their kids for a mom. So you can do anything you want. Now I'm just gonna gather it together. This is sort of a shortbread. It's very easy. There's no egg in it. So if anyone has any egg allergies or sensitivities, there's no egg in this at all. And you could even use vegan butter. So you can make this a vegan recipe as well. All right, so I'm gonna try to squish this. Can you see inside here? I'm gonna try to squish this into a ball. And there's a reason why I want it into a ball. There we go. I have a sheet pan here that's uh, been covered with aluminum foil, and aluminum foil is what you want in this case. And this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually get it into a log. All right, this should make about 12 cookie flowers for, you, for your bouquet, but you can make them a little bigger if you want. I made some bigger, um, you can even make them smaller if you want. And what I'm doing is I'm taking I have popsicle sticks, wooden popsicle sticks, and I even have lollipop sticks that I found. Whatever you have. I actually happen to have these from a previous uh, craft uh, project that I had done. So I know it's hard to get stuff now, but pretty much everything I've mentioned thus far you should have. So I'm gonna divide the dough in half, just eyeball it, and then I'm gonna divide each side into six, and in here I'm doing it in fifths because I just want them a little bit bigger. And I'm not gonna make each one, I'm gonna show you what you should do. So you're gonna get like a disc, all right? You're gonna take your popsicle stick 
and you're going to shove it through sort of the middle part, all right? Not all the way through. You want it to hold on sort of like, so it looks like a little popsicle, a little cookie, cookie popsicle, and you're going to put it down here, and then when it's down on your sheet pan, you're going to press down slightly and keep it in a round shape. All right, we wanna keep it in, in a round shape. And then I'm gonna do one more for you. And if you want, you could actually take two of these. Let's see if I can make a big one. And I'll show you, if you wanted to take two and just make like six big cookies for mom. And depending on how many kids you have doing this, you could do as many as you want. This recipe doubles really nicely. So you're just gonna, I take two lollipop sticks just to give it a little more stability put it to about here inside the dough lay it down all when i've done 12 and i use popsicle sticks i can get the entire 12 on one sheet pan just so you know i've preheated my oven to 325 degrees fahrenheit and these will bake about 18 to 20 minutes and they will firm up when they come out of the oven. So you don't wanna to touch them when they come out of the oven. You wanna leave them and let them get cool, all right? So I'm gonna leave these for later because I know we wanna get icing. So let's get, meaning I wanna to get to the icing, all right? So I'm gonna move this over. I'm gonna get this out of the way. I'm going to wash my hands. Now I need my paddle attachment. This is my paddle attachment, so I am gonna wash that now while I wash my hands. So I'm gonna to wait to put that cookie sheet pan in the oven until I have my full amount of dough on there. All right. These take no time at all. I have made three batches in the past one day and they take little or no time, but it's a great activity to do. The kids can do it. You can make them one day, decorate them the next, and you can have them for mom or grandma, uh, and it's, it's fabulous. Such an easy recipe to do. No fail. All right, so I'm gonna dry these, I'm gonna dry this paddle off, and we're gonna get to our frosting. We're gonna make a simple buttercream frosting, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Super easy. So let's get rid of these. We don't need these. And I wanna get to my accoutrements, my little crafty things that we're going to be using for our frosting, all right? So, we have marshmallows. If you happen to have large marshmallows, that's what you'll use. If you wanna do mini marshmallows, you can do that too. I just took any candies I could find uh, in the grocery store, little candies. This is for the center, and I even have some uh, Sprinkles, multicolored sprinkles. Um, I got a bunch of different things. And I put a little bit of, and I'll show you how we're gonna make our frosting, but I have a little bit of pink food coloring and a little bit of lavender food coloring, violet in here, and we're gonna mix our frosting in here in a second. So let me bring all our ingredients over. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take three cups of confectioner sugar, that's powdered sugar, and six tablespoons of softened butter put it into an electric mixer, all right, the bowl of an electric mixer. And this is my paddle that I'm going to use. And then what I'm gonna do is add a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Now, if you don't wanna make the frosting, just buy a can of frosting. I won't tell anybody, I promise, okay? It is for Mother's Day. And if you wanna do this for your kids real quick, but it's an actually fun, fun recipe to do if you wanna do it. All right, let's lock that, get that going, and do it on low, low speed. And then you can add maybe two to four tablespoons of milk or water. I'm gonna use water in this case. And you add it all at once. And come on over and take a look at what this looks like. This is my second tablespoon. Three, don't add too much water because you want to see if you're going to need it. And you want it to get to a frosting consistency, spreadable. All right, so there we go. Let's see how it looks. And you can get it on a little bit of a higher speed. Let's see if it looks a little dry. It's actually looking pretty good. I'm going to go up to warp speed for a second. 
and now I'm going down. All right, so I ended up using three tablespoons, and that's fine. If you want a little bit uh, thinner icing, you can do that as well, but I think this is pretty good because we want to spread this. So I'm going to take a rubber spatula, rubber spatula, and I'm going to push my frosting through my paddle, and this is just a basic white buttercream. All right, and now we're gonna color it. Any color you want, blue, yellow, red, anything. Grandma's, mom's favorite colors, it doesn't matter. Go for it, but I just did pink and violet because I happen to have them. So you see that, okay? So I'm just gonna take a little bit. I'm not gonna take it all because maybe I'll decide to do another color at some point. So I'm gonna just take a little bit and we're gonna put it right into the pink. And take another little bit, put it right into the purple or the violet. And then what I recommend is have your kids mix and see if they can try to keep their, their hands out of it. Because if they don't, this is what they get. A little food coloring on the hands, but that's okay. It comes out. I call it, it's, I feel like, uh, you know, like a baking warrior. I've got some, uh, I've got some, wounds from the frosting, you know, just a little. Oh, that's a pretty color. Look at that. All right, I'm using another spoon to scrape it off. You want to get that all mixed up, all blended. See how pretty that is? That's a gorgeous pink. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. So that's our pink. And now I have, member violet in here. And depending on how much you use, I, these are gels. If you don't have the gels and you just have the liquid food coloring, that's fine too. And obviously the violet's very intense and I didn't put a lot in, but it really makes it violet. And lavender or violet was my favorite color when I was a kid. I actually had a bedroom completely, completely that color. I had violet everything. All right, so I'm partial to it. Oh, it's pretty. It's pretty. I changed my mind. I like it. All right, so let me show you what we're gonna do. You ready to decorate? All right, so let me bring over some ready-made cookies that I've gotten to do already. I told you I've made this recipe like three or four times already. And I have my marshmallows here. This is where the kids can really help. Everybody can help do something, all right? So you can see I've done a few already. So let's get to it. So this is how they're gonna come off out of the oven, okay? And you wanna be gentle with them, so you don't want your kids super, uh, being super rough. And these are the ones that are on the popsicle sticks. So you're gonna get an offset spatula. If you don't have one, just use a butter knife. And I'm gonna take a little bit of my pink frosting. Choose one, I don't know, choose which, whichever one you want. Hold the cookie from the bottom a little bit. A little bit, you know, so it's sturdy and smear that icing around, okay? Very gently. It can be as thin or as thick as you want. It doesn't have to be too, too, um, too thin. And if it goes over the edges, that's fine, no problem. And then I'm gonna do another one in the other color. All right, let's do, let's do the lollipop stick. And I'm just gonna, Hold it like that. Isn't that pretty? And they really offset each other very nicely. Pink and purple. But again, any color you want. Any candy, any accoutrement you want. The only thing you really will need, which really helps with the petals, is the marshmallows. Marshmallows. And you want the big ones. If you have little ones and that's all you've got, then you can make little petals. I have scissors. So if you have a, a small child, you might want to do this for them. And you really do need sharp scissors. So I'm going to take the marshmallow, all right? You know, this is the, the way you would skewer a marshmallow to make like a s'more. Flip it 90 degrees. And you want to do it like that. You're going to do about five petals. So these are going to be the petals, one, two. They're going to be relatively thin, and they do get sticky. This is three. And four or five, don't cut yourself, all right? And then you can always reshape them. And I have a little water. You don't want to wet your marshmallow, 
but you can just dab a little bit on your finger so they'll stick because sometimes they'll they'll feel like they're not going to stick all right so let's do our purple one first and i'm going to shape it so it's a little bit you know petal shaped right and i'm going to stick it on there just let it go there all right and put a little bit just a teeny 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 bit of water not a lot you see that you see where i'm what i'm working on isn't that gorgeous it's so cute beautiful beautiful and if you see that you've made i put the petals look what i did i put the petals sort of sticking up and they're sticking off the edge if you want to put them directly onto the frosting you can but i like big flowers so i actually want to make the petals come up a little bit so sometimes i need like an extra slice or two of my marshmallow and that's fine so we might get another piece of marshmallow and the bigger cookies you might need uh, eight eight petals instead so I have I'm gonna I think I'm gonna need two more petals all right all right and you see you sort of shape them as a petal and then get them in there and then I'm gonna shove this little guy in here but you can make them a little bit more narrow so they can fit right in here so let's shove this little petal in here isn't that cute isn't that pretty I like it now we got to decorate the center so if you want you could take the opposite color which is the pink and put it through a freezer bag and just pipe a little of the pink in the center and then that would be it but I have all these beautiful little little treats here so I'm gonna use some sprinkles I have multicolored sprinkles that I just happen to see in the grocery store and you just put them in there and push down so that they actually adhere to your frosting. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? And then what I did is I have some raffia, green raffia, because that's what leaves look like, right? And I just happened to find, I literally had a pile of ribbon. I didn't buy this, honest. And I just happened to buy this. Uh, have this from a previous I don't know gift or something I cut a bit and you're gonna put it underneath okay hopefully you can see this and you're gonna tie just tie it once kids can do this grown-ups can do this and if you want you can just trim the edges to look like petals and what I did was look how gorgeous that is let me just tighten our petals a little bit isn't that pretty all right and then what I did was I took some foam that I happen to have florist foam and I just got a basket I literally have this sometimes I put my meringue mushrooms in it so I happen to have it I put some of the gardening foam you know the um, florist foam I should call it the green stuff in here covered it I didn't have green shredded paper, but I had pink, perfect for Mother's Day. And then you just stick these through to make this beautiful little garden. Now the other thing I did, let me show you, and this is something you can do as well, super easy. So I took a glass, like a small glass, like a juice glass, and what I did was I covered it in any type of wrapping paper, if you have a little wall, wall you know, wallpaper, anything that you want, tissue paper, something to cover it that's really pretty and sort of mother, Mother's Day-ish. And what I did was I put the cup inside and then I put some of this green florist foam in there as well, covered it with the green, and then stuck our, our baby in here. And let's see if we can, and this could be a bouquet. So let's see if we can make this a bouquet so you got to move the pink let's see if i can get our bouquet in here and you got to be careful when you push in there we go oh yes you got a little bouquet stick your paper in there and you can say happy mother's day to mom or grandma i think they are adorable so i hope you've enjoyed this youtube video and i hope you'll go and watch more of my youtube videos um, and you can check out my new website, which is going to go live very, very soon at chefgailsogel.com. So see you next time.